Hi, hello everyone. Latonya Brown Sugar again today. This is the post home workout green machine video juicing. I am going to show you how to juice, how to create your own healthy green machine juice post workout. Okay, so let's get into it. Now, first, I'm going to introduce my ingredients. I use spinach mixed with baby kiard, kale, and spinach, okay? Which is going to give the juice a nice green color, okay? And then next I have mangoes, the berries, strawberries, and berries. And then next I have watermelon, nice mm, red sweet watermelon cubes, okay? Everybody, so let's get into it. First, we have to wash. First, we're gonna rinse out a blender, okay? I'm just gonna rinse it because we wanna make sure that it's nice, clean, and sterile. So I always rinse with warm water, okay? You want it to be nice and clean and sterile, warm water here. Okay. And this is your blender and you're gonna sit it right into the seat here. And you're gonna make sure the blender is plugged in too as well. This is the top to the blender. I'm also going to rinse it with warm water, okay? This is the top, it's the blender. Okay, so first we're going to use a small Tupperware. We're going to take a serving of the baby kale with the spinach mix and just take a serving just to clean and rinse it off first, okay? It's our first ingredients. Just take a nice handful here. If you want, if you want, I usually remove some of the stems from the leaves here, just so that I won't have too many stems in my juicing video, okay? So I just remove a few of those. Just a few here. Just to give it a nice, nice green blend here. Then nice, you have a nice big tub of green leaves with baby, again, it's mixed with baby card, kale, and spinach all in one. Very good. It's gonna give that juice that nice green, beautiful, natural flavor to everybody, okay? Make sure it's nice and clean and rinsed here. Really, really good. Okay, we're gonna place these ingredients into the blender. This is our first ingredient, everybody. And then next, we have, just gonna grab a fork from the pantry drawer here. A fork, and of course, I'm gonna rinse the fork with warm, sterile water. I rinse everything with warm, sterile water. Warm, sterile water does kill all bacteria. And also, I also wipe down the candles with Lysol disinfectant spray, everybody. Make sure you're getting your Lysol. It's COVID-19. The Delta variant is here and COVID-19 is being spread around. So make sure you're being careful with you and your family and you're being safe and clean. I'm also just going to use some lukewarm loop water, loop water just to rinse the fruit, okay? It's a nice yummy mango with strawberries and berries. Beautiful. So we just need a small serving of, of the fruit inside the blender, okay? So I'm just gonna just dip a little bit. Just take a few pieces here of the berries, the mango and the strawberries as well, okay, everybody? Okay. 
a small, a, a small few ounces of the fruit into the blender, okay, everybody? As you can see, it's looking really, really pretty, nice and fresh here. Okay, so our next ingredient is gonna be the water, watermelon, okay? And then for the juice, to create the juice, we're gonna use a nice blend of green tea and a little bit of water. We'll go into that step a little bit next, okay? Just a few ounces of the, the cubes, not all of the watermelon, just a few ounces here, okay? a few ounces of watermelon and of course mm, so sweet everybody mm, love watermelon in the summer everybody it is awesome okay let's put this one aside okay then next we're gonna add our water and our green tea okay so we only need a small serving here okay So just a little bit, a few, maybe about, maybe about four or five ounces of green tea here, okay? Because you have to remember, everyone, that the fruit actually makes water itself, especially the watermelon and the mangoes, they, they make water as well. So that's going to be, create part of the juicing as well. So you only need like four or five ounces of the green tea, okay? And then also... You can choose, you can choose a liquid of choice. You can choose almond milk. You can choose just plain water or any other type of juice that you would like to add to your juice, to your green machine. But I have found that green tea really gets it. This is a, a ginseng green tea. Green tea, this is Arizona green tea with ginseng and a little bit of touch of honey. It's not really, really sweet, but it just gives it that nice little small, like sweet taste. Also green tea is good because it has a lot of antioxidants, including vitamin C, like a nice significant amount of vitamin C, which is good for your immune system. That's why I love green tea. Actually drink it every day. I drink Arizona brand, Pure Leaf brand, brand as well, everybody. Okay. So green, uh, green tea is really good for you. So I just only need a few ounces there, okay? And then I'm just only going to use like four to six ounces of water, okay? okay. Crystal geyser. Crystal geyser water is it's really healthy for you. It is, uh, you know, just a spring water. So you only need like four or five ounces of the water to a cup, okay? Because again, the fruit is going to make some the water too. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to turn the liquefy. The liquefy oxygen is the liquefy oxygen is the oxygen that you should use to blend everything together. Okay. As you can see, it's looking nice and pretty and green, everybody. Alabama Roll Tide. Although I reside in California, I am Alabama native. So this is my Roll Tide cup that I use every day for my gift. I'm 
grinder and you could position it over the cup like so and what it does will do what it does is kind of gets rid of the foam in the juice okay everybody so let's see if, if that's gonna work today sometimes all of the foam won't drain out but you just want to just a little bit of it just to drain out because as, as you can see it's a little bit foamy but it smells so natural. It's going to taste so natural. It's so good. It has plenty of antioxidant for your bladder, your, your heart, your lungs, everything, all the juices, ingredients that we use in here. And don't forget, everybody, uh, This while this may provide some type of protein, maybe just a little bit of protein, but most of the protein will come from almonds. You can add uh, an ounce of almonds to here, like a, a, an ounce of almonds or peanuts or granola will give you some good protein as well. For me, I usually just have like a peanut butter crackers uh, on the side while I'm drinking my juice. So that gives me my protein. Okay, so let's go ahead and pour it into the grinder here and just position here so that you guys can see just a little bit here and just pour it in here like so. And the juice will be going inside of the cup. And of course, you don't want to create a whole mess here, <laughs> like I'm doing here. Okay, but you want most of the juice to go inside of the cup here. Okay, so it's going to be right in here. And then all the juice is going inside of the cup now, everybody. And while it's draining the foam as well, everybody. Okay, so that's just a way to get rid of the foam. Okay, and it just takes a little while here. And it's just gonna drain in the cup, everybody, okay? And it's gonna give you about 24 ounces of juice into the cup, okay, everybody? So you're just gonna pour the rest while the rest of it drains in. Yeah, okay, very good. There we go. And it's all draining, okay, everybody? And as you can see, it's a nice green coloring to it as well, everybody. As you can see, it's about 24 ounces in there right now, which is good. And it's almost done draining, everybody. It only takes a few seconds for it to drain, okay? And then what you can see, as you can see, you have the foam residue into the grinder here, everybody. And that's what you want, okay? You don't want that, you, you don't want that foam residue to be inside of your juice all the time, okay? Sometimes, uh, you know, there's it doesn't create a lot of foam and I don't drain it every day. It just depends on how much foam is created there, whether or not I'll drain it, okay, guys? So it's almost done here. Just have a little bit left here. Okay. 
And as you can see, all the foam here is just sitting in the middle here, okay? Just have just a few ounces of juice left. Okay, so we have about 24 ounces of juice into the cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump the rest of the foam into the sink here, okay? And then I'm gonna place my top, my lid onto my cup here. And there I have created my juice for today, everybody, okay? Just gonna give it a little rinse from around the rim here. Okay. And there my juice is prepared, okay, everybody? So I'm just gonna set this to the side. And then as you can see, the results of the foam is sitting in there, everybody, so you don't want all of that sitting to, to the juice, okay? So what I do is just take the warm water, and of course I just rinse it, okay, everybody? And of course, I rinse the blender as well, everybody. And there you have it. And of course, the top of the blender. I want to make sure we rinse everything here. Thanks, everybody, for joining me for the Green Machine video. Now we have created our juice. Now I'm going to give it a nice whirlwind taste here. Mmm, this tastes so natural, everybody. So natural, it tastes like a juice that you will get from Jamba Juice, everybody. It tastes so good. Mmm, so natural, so sweet. Oh, it tastes great. So everybody, try this at home. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And I will see you in my next video. And you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.